Today I decided to install these rock lights on the Nissan Titan. I'll put a link in the description below. I know most people like to stick them in the wheel well somewhere and have them shine out and, and do all that stuff, but they're rock lights. If you put them in the wheel well, the wheel itself blocks you from getting any light onto the ground. And our plans with the truck is to do a little overlanding, some off-roading, and get us into some interesting situations, hopefully, down the road. And it would be beneficial to us to light up the ground around us if we are in a sticky scenario when it's getting dark outside. So I'm gonna actually mount the front ones here in this location, the underside of the bumper. I know some people will say, well, then you're gonna be at risk of ripping them off if you hit a rock or something. You know, they're like 10 bucks. So if I rip one off, I rip one off. Uh, I think it fits well here. It's gonna sit nice and flush here. I'll be able to run the, the wire directly up into the engine bay. For the rears, I actually haven't decided where I'm gonna locate them yet. Maybe on the underside of the quarter maybe on the back bumper but again the idea is to get the light kind of in this area so you can see the path it'll illuminate the path of where your rear tires are going to go but again having it up in this area or behind the wheel it's not going to do anything for us so we'll, we'll see so to drill a couple of small holes turns out i had to do it at a bit of a different angle uh, going this way there's a some brackets and supports and stuff in this area where I would add a drill so that went to work but now I'm just gonna hit this with a little bit of touch-up paint so we prevent any rust The product that I used to seal this, the uh, the backside of this light is actually a, a like an emblem adhesive, so it's a little bit rubbery and sticky anyway. So if you do it right, time it right, you actually get a little adhesion, and it's going to seal that up against the surface anyway. So it kind of eliminates the need for that rubber piece. And aside from the cord hanging down, you'll never really see that until you get down here. Again, they sit pretty flush, so. I just wired this one up really quick. I'm gonna put it to a power source, hook it to the battery, and we'll see if she fires up. Uh, we're gonna have this connected to a, a switch, obviously, just for testing purposes. Let's see if, let's see if she lights up here. Hey. All right. These lights just come with these little pigtails, so you're gonna need some extra wire to run them. The sealer is pretty well dried up now yeah just a little just a little sticky so it'll be good to uh, set these up i'm just gonna try to bust these out really quick but you guys see how uh, i'm mounting them on the front i just want to try to get these knocked out quick We're taking the trim pieces off here this panel off here and uh, i'm gonna move the carpet out of the way here and try to find the hood release cable which is right here there is a little hole just above it and i think we can use it and well, this is this is firm. Let's see if I can feel my finger. Yes, I can. Okay, there it is. Let me get some light so you can see it. There it is, right there. See that little guy? I think we can just poke a hole in it, and we can run the wire through it. I'm just going to use this really simple switch for now, uh, and I might put the front and rear on separate switches maybe just to keep it cleaner. I'm not sure where I'm gonna mount them. I'd love to use some of these blanks, but I just don't like how that looks. And I'm not sure if I can find a switch that's gonna be similar to these. If you guys have any ideas or have you seen any online, link them for me or let me know where they are. I just folded the insulation under now, underneath for now so I didn't have to cut it. I'm just gonna pull this grommet out of here and poke a couple holes. That's easy enough. That should be perfect for us. I think you should be able to see that hole opening right there, right in the center. The hood release cable going in right there below it. It's gonna to be tough to get to. That's gonna be the only challenge. Sometimes you get creative. 
This will get us down to the hole and then we'll run the wire through the grommet. Gotta say, made it pretty easy. All I did with the grommet is uh, I have a little wood burning tool with a poker. Just heated it up and punched me a tiny little hole through there. There we go. There we go, back in place. Don't forget, you gotta get power to the switch. So I had to run wire from the battery side, it tucked it away here in the shroud. We'll do some more cleanup. I uh, ran it back to that same grommet. All right, got the switch wired up. The problem with these lights is that you have to run them in parallel. You can't run them in sequence. So you have to basically bring both, all of the lights back to the same power. You can't run one light uh, power in and then power out through the black to the next light and then power out through the black to the next light. I wish you could do that. It would make it a lot more simple. And I think I'm going to run out of wire. So I'm only going to get these front ones done. They'll be connected to the switch. So um, again, we have the power running from the battery into the grommet to the switch. And then the power from the switch coming out to this light here. And then we have wire coming from that light over to meet this one. So both lights will come together meeting the same power source. And that switch will run them both. So I'm going to hook the battery up to this wire up here just to make sure everything is good. Then we'll heat shrink these to make sure it's all sealed up and safe. And uh, there we go. We'll know. All right, let's test this out. So this light should light up when we switch it on. Let's do it. Okay, good sign. We'll test them out later to see how bright they actually are. I went ahead and decided just to drill a little bit of a hole here next to the hood release. It's up and out of the way, not really noticeable. The button itself mounts nice and flush and it just kind of blends in so it works. Definitely want to take it easy. When you're using a little unit like this, it takes a lot of material off really quickly and it's pretty soft plastic. So if you're not careful, it could get out of hand. So just a little bit at a time and keep test fitting your button. Now every, every switch is a little bit different, of course, uh, shape and size and whatnot and how it kind of clamps itself in there. So like I said, just test fit multiple times and tweak just a little bit at a time and then you'll get it to fit nicely without ending up pushing your button all the way through. So it actually looks good. Like I said, it blends in nicely, fits perfectly. I'd like a little higher quality uh, switch, but it'll do. We'll test these at night, but bam. So I like to keep wiring clean, so kind of followed the path of other wires. Just kept everything nice and tight together. It'll keep it up and out of the way. Pretty bright, pretty bright. That's gonna work. It's actually quite bright. I might add a couple to the rear though. I think having some light out the back end will actually be really helpful. But pleased with this setup now. I think that gives us a pretty good idea just how bright these lights actually are and how much how much flood we get and how much light these small rock lights actually emit. And again, I'll put a link in the description below uh, to where I found these on Amazon. These aren't show lights. Like I said, I think we're gonna get some use out of them, uh, depending on the types of scenarios we find ourselves in. But like, like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, if you have a, 
a switch recommendation for me, uh, let me know in the comments below. I want to find one that can either fit in those um, those blanks that I have in the dash already uh, or that would look good in that dash area. So let me know. Let me know if you guys have any experience with with the uh, switches that you like. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. Thank you for the continued support up to this point. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one.